what's up shouty hey guys welcome to my youtube page um today i thought i'll just do a really quick video because all the videos uploaded recently i've not just been talking out and i need to do more interactive videos so i'm gonna do um a get ready with me video this video is inspired by nessa k because i follow her and she's beautiful and her videos are always amazing and i've put in some um elizabeth Arden on my lips because my lips are so dry like it's so cold in england and like my lips are getting so chapped and this cream is amazing i got this from debenhams like two years ago i still have it and it just shows how like amazing it is okay i'm gonna do like a makeup look for you today i'm already doing my eyebrows because doing my eyebrows in this camera just takes so long i'm gonna do updated <coughs> i'm gonna do updated eyebrow video I just thought I'd do them first because it just takes so long to do them and I know I'll just make so many mistakes and like I know I, I want to do an eyebrow video when I can just concentrate and I don't want to feel rushed but I really want to do this video because I uploaded one this morning and I want to upload one today because I really want to roll out the videos so I'm just going to get started okay I've already done my eyebrows I've got nothing on my skin um I've like um Clint wiped my face, there's nothing on, so I've got a few blemishes here and there. So I've got a little few pimples and spots. So I'm just gonna get started really. Um I'm gonna put some moisturizer on. I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Fatra Moisturizer, which has SPF 15. This is a sample. Um you can go to Kiehl's, like there's one in Southages, one in Debenhams. I don't know if there's one in Debenhams, but I'm just gonna put this all over my face. That, that's this is a sample part, so go and ask for a sample because I feel like um with any moisturiser, you should really like sample it. So um, make sure you ask for a sample because the moisturisers are amazing, especially for like before makeup and um, night moisturisers. But so they just do really amazing ones, especially if you've got oily skin. But this one's for all skin types, but I did use the one that's blue and it's for oily skin. So um, that one's quite good as well. Um, because it's quite cold and my skin's getting a tad bit dry, I'm gonna use the MAC Moisture Infusion Serum and just put it all over my face. Well, not all over, I'm just gonna put it where here. So I get really dry here, so I'm just gonna pat that on. And I'm gonna use MAC Natural Radiance Primer. I've got, I, I stopped using the Smashbox one because I felt that it, it wasn't really doing anything, so I started using this one because it's really good if you've got oily skin. And if you used to know that, I thought it was for like if you had dry skin, but I guess I got schooled in it again. So it's really good to always know your stuff about primers and stuff. So I was really just burnt it into the skin. Next, I'm gonna be using, using a mixture of two foundations because I never use one, I always mix two. When I mix, I always put one after the other, but um, I don't really apply it thickly because I like the look of one foundation, but I like the look of another, so I just mix them. I'm gonna use Makeup Forever's HD Foundation in 178. I'm just gonna put it all over my face. I'm just gonna use um, two pumps because I like a bit of coverage. And I'm gonna use a MAC 187 Dual Fiber Brush. I'm just gonna blend that into the skin. Um, I had problems using this, I bought this in Dubai. And um, I have real problems using this because when I was in Dubai, I went in the sun and my skin got darker. So I couldn't really like use this foundation when I got back. I was really annoyed because my skin had gone so, so, so dark. I had to use LA Mask Skin Base in number 18. And I used to use that to contour so you, you could see how dark I've gone. So you don't really need a, a, a lot of this foundation. You can see by the coverage, it's quite good. It is medium buildable. I might just wear this actually, I don't think I need the mineralise because the mineralise is going to make me look a tad bit more shiny and um, this foundation is looking, making me look really shiny at the moment I'm sorry about the light um, I'm trying to show you guys in the light, li nicest lighting as possible as possible foundation done okay guys um now it's time for concealer um i used to wear like a lot of concealer and um, oh by the way i forgot to, to say this this look is just gonna be a normal going out look um i'm gonna copy the look where because i went to amsterdam on the weekend so i'm gonna do the a similar look what i did to when i went out and um i did i did have a lot of highlight under my eye but um i'm gonna use the um kevin Oquan concealer which looks like this this is an SX15 and um, it's like MAC Studio Finish Concealer but more creamier. So I'm gonna take a, you only need a little bit. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hands, like that. And then just blend it in. Done, eyes are concealed. 
Um, next, I'm going to use um, a highlight colour, which I'm going to use under my eyes. I'm going to use NC45 in Studio Finish, just a little bit, just on the outer edges of my eyes, just to highlight them. Next, I'm going to take, if I can find it, Peach Lustre as a highlight. It's a prep and prime. I'm just going to dab this on my cheeks and blend it out. All done. We've now got a subtle highlight under our eye. Next, I'm going to do my eyes really quickly. Um, I'm going to use um, a 239 brush, which is a flat eyeshadow brush, just to do the eyes very quickly. Um, from when I went out, I don't put much on my eyes, so I'm just going to use MAC Dip Down on the eye. This is a fluid line, but I like to use it all over the eye. I'm just going to blend that out using a clean 217 blush by MAC. Dip down's all done and now I'm just going to um, use a colour in the cream. Using a clean 217, I'm going to add Swiss chocolate and texture in the crease. That's the eyes done. Now, taking the same 239 brush I used for dip down to put on the eye, I'm going to use it at the bottom of the eye too. Now I'm going to take a Chanel eyeliner, which is called Stylo Ukes Waterproof, and put it inside the waterline. I'm going to blend out any harsh ledges under the eye using a MAC 214 shader brush. Done. I'm now going to highlight the skin using MAC Glorify. This is limited edition, but if you want to dupe it, use MAC Gold Deposit. I'm going to take this using a MAC 187 gel fiber brush. I'm now going to add a tiny bit of contour using Matt's Pro Pro Palette Definitive.
Okay, bring it again. On this brush. Cut the equal I'm now going to powder the look using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark using a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm just pressing the powder onto the skin. I don't really powder all over my face. I'm just powdering the center in between the brows, the forehead, and the side of the nose as I want my skin, my cheeks to look very dewy so it gives my face a three-dimensional touch <laughs> I'm all done and now I'm going to finish this look off by using the Riri for MAC Nude Lipstick There's your completed look guys. This look is very easy to do and without me speaking, it will take you much quicker to do. Um, but I've tried to use like minimal products. I'm really liking this Makeup Forever foundation. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for what, I'll tell you which outfit I'm gonna put with this outfit now. I'm gonna get changed. <laughs> Hey guys, I've now completed the outfit. Um, this is an outfit I repeated when I went to Amsterdam on the weekend. A lot of you asked, you asked what, I, like, what I was wearing. So this is it, I, all I did was add a bandana. I'm sorry, my room's a really weird layout, so me positioning my camera to show my outfits just so hard, so. And plus I just got back on the Monday, so my room's not a mess, so I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I've just got wearing this bandana and a snapback. Um, it's sort of my trade look at the moment. I do love a snapback and a bandana at the front. This bandana's for uh, Beyond Retro. I got it for like three pounds. And a snapback is from Boohoo Man. It's just a plain snapback from Boohoo Man. And I'm wearing um, this really asymmetrical, um, um, really just nice fitted. It's got like cotton arms and like, I'm not sure what you call this fabric because I'm not really good <laughs> with fabrics. It's from Cars anyway. I'll show you the back. It's men's, it's really, really cute. I got it when I was in Dubai, but I know they have it here in the UK. I think it's like 80 pounds here. I'm not sure what the price is because I got it in Dubai and I don't know. But um, with the accessories, I'm wearing my Butler & Wilson Scholar Ring, my wife, my Yves Saint Laurent, um, turquoise, um, whatever ring, my Balenciaga bracelet, my Michael Kors watch. This is from Topshop and this is from Monica Vendelia. And for my trousers, um, I'm wearing some tapered trousers. Okay, I don't know if you can see this properly. Some tapered trousers I got made in Dubai. Um, I got some trousers that I really love from Top Man. Um, I'm not sure if I can show you them. They're these ones here. I love them so much, but they're grey. So um, I brought them to Dubai and the tailor made me the exact same ones in black in Dubai. He made them like, but he made the legs really narrower because I really liked a harem crutch. So it was really amazing. And for shoes, I'm wearing New Balance. Okay, can you see that? Sorry guys, my room's a mess. New Balance. I got these from Mr. Porter and I'll put the link in the description bar. This is the outfit guys. <laughs> I'll put four pictures on my blog because this is so like difficult putting it on here. I just want to say thank you guys for making me reach a thousand subscribers and thank you for all the like the, the um, regular commenters. I do see you guys. I see you guys commenting on Instagram, commenting on Twitter. That's why I say thank you so much for watching my videos. Love you. Bye.